What's going on guys? Welcome along to the continuation of my Kingdom Hearts 1 Let's Play um, series that I've been planning on playing through the entirety of the Kingdom Hearts series. So this could take um, a good few years to uh, actually get through because there are so many, uh, so many games. So yeah, things are a little bit different from last time. I have shifted away from the PS2 version of the original version of the game and since the last time i played and streamed i actually picked up the um or i have picked up um this which is kingdom hearts 1.5 and 2.5 also picked up 2.8 and i've picked up kingdom hearts 3 so i have like got the entire kingdom hearts um part of the dlc i think and the entire kingdom hearts collection now on ps4 which i'm really excited about um the reason I decided to do that was because, um, like I sort of said, I didn't know how I would enjoy the game. I think I said this in like one of the first stream. Uh, but I really enjoyed it, and I kind of really want to keep playing it. And I thought I'd only played just under three hours on the original, so I thought it was a good opportunity to, you know what, if I want to get the rest of these games, let's just do it now, take the hit, and then replay that three hours that I'd already played, um, which I have already done. I've already replayed the three hours, um so yeah long story short um at the weekend i was testing the capture card because i haven't actually used my capture card on my new pc since i have the new pc um and it took me hours and um, so i plugged it all in i thought everything was good the audio was sounding good because i was coming straight out of the capture card direct to my headphones um and i basically re i i, I was playing on traverse town like going around because playing on Traverse Town, getting all the chests and all the extra bits, because I just literally rushed through. I think it took me an hour to get back to the end of Traverse Town. Um, and then I was just getting the chest, I spent about half an hour, I was just gonna publish it as a YouTube video. And then when I came to like test the quality of the audio, yeah, something's weird was going on. And I spent like two hours at the weekend trying to sort it out. Um, turns out the audio that comes through the capture card um, the sound card for that on my Windows device, Windows had put automatically put on the audio enhancements and it was causing it to kind of like just cut in and cut out and yeah, it, it wasn't good. So unfortunately I've lost that footage of like just getting all those chests and different bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, but we are at pretty much the same point we were now on the PS2 version. Um... I have found something else though, and we'll go and have uh, we'll go and take a look at that um, for a start because um, I actually managed to unlock a quite an interesting uh, area um, which has some other bits and pieces. So um, but yeah, all in all, everything is um, pretty good. The webcam, I hope I've got sorted as well. I know that was a big issue for me. Um, I'm just going to drop that down a bit. Hopefully that won't make a difference. Yeah, it was uh, really annoying me the other day um, when I last streamed, but I think I spent some time and uh, checking all my settings and everything. So fingers crossed, um, we should have a bit more of a um, straightforward stream, shall we say tonight. Um, saying that, I think I just need to check my outputs. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, because my um, I record microphone and game on different tracks, so I just wanted to make sure my capture card was on the same track as my normal um, out tracks which it looks like they are bring the audio back right, i think we're about ready to go so yeah welcome back guys to kingdom hearts one hope you're all uh, excited and as much as i am ready to get back into this so we're gonna actually head over to um the i think it's the third district yep and there was this um which when i was going around at the weekend i, I came across uh, the fire door and now they actually have magic um i looked at it i kind of like used my fire magic on the door and it enabled the door and it allows me to go now through to what was the mystical house which is um pretty cool and um yeah it's a bit of a 
bit of a troll here as you uh, go through here and got to do the stepping stones to actually get across to the house, which is a little bit annoying, especially when your jump button doesn't work. But you know, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be not playing a game if the jump jump button worked, right? Or didn't jump button didn't work? Sorry, those of you who have been around for uh, Portal for. Me and Paul for many years, you know, my relationship with the jump button um, is not the greatest. Uh, so yeah, we, we jump across all these stepping stones and we got across to this, um, this little house here. And um, eventually then the magician turned up. We did see um, a small um, cutscene with Kyrie, But yeah, the, um, the magician turned up. And um, what's more, we've also got the fairy godmother was somewhere here i'm not sure where the fairy godmother went okay she was here before but anyway we have um the wizard here so let's talk to the wizard and he said that we can uh, practice magic so let's um let's take a look here and see what we can actually do then shall we we've got some magic we've only got fire spell at the moment that we can use Practice casting spells. The little so again, you can practice casting spells here without depleting MP. Merlin's furniture will also will be your target. You can have it either move around or stay put. When you're ready to call it quits, walk up to Merlin and select cancel. Let's um, maybe try a stationary magic first. Yeah, well, I guess we can just. Okay, I'm not sure why. Okay. A little bit weird. Maybe I'm stood too close. Maybe I'm I'm stood too close. Yeah. They can't jump and use magic because it cancels out the menu, so. Let's uh, maybe try the moving magic. But I mean, as long as we can like lock on, then I think it's going to be fine. It seems like the the, dis the distance away from. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit weird. I wonder if there's a shortcut though, because I know there's like um There is like um shortcuts that you can use. Which make it easy to get abilities, so we'll have to check out the menu in a minute. Okay, well, that's enough of that I think. For the time being. Let's um now check our Okay, it's this one, isn't it? Okay, so I can do L1 and triangle. If we go back and just try this again really quickly, maybe on stationary targets. Makes it a lot easier. All right, so gotta remember, we've got that like quick, quick use if we use L1, so. All right, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know where the fairy godmother went though. Oh, maybe she turns up when we, uh... there we go. When we check on, um... Cinderella's carriage there. I'm so worried about Cinderella. 
My world too is dis my world has disappeared too. Okay, that's all she's gonna say to us. Okay, that's that's fair enough. All right, so um, yeah, we're we're pretty much done then. I think at Traverse Town, I've been around. Um, there's possibly some postcards that we are yet to discover. Um, also, um, there's some chests around here, but I don't think we can get to them just yet. There is one of the um, Trinity marks here, but we don't have the ability to use the um, yellow on that, unfortunately. Um, oh, while I think about it, one thing I wanted just to clear up as well from my first episode. So you'll know that um, I was pretty confused as to like who Leon was and who they were referring to when they were talking about Leon. And after we like, um, I didn't realize at the time after I stopped streaming, I saw that see I saw that we had access to the journal, and in the journal there is a character list, and um, I think it was in character characters one. Um, we have Leon right here, and I clicked on it. I was like, okay, but that's Squall. So they call him Leon, but it's, it is actually Squall from Final Fantasy VIII, um, as the reference there says. But his name is Squall Leon Harton. I'll hold my hand up like saying for years I have got this wrong because I have always called him Squall Lionheart. And I think the reason for that is that in Final Fantasy VIII he has a, um, I think it's uh, is it a weapon? I'm sure it's a weapon called the Lionheart. So Squall Leonheart has a weapon called the Lionheart. And I don't know, I just always called him Squall Lionheart. So that's what confused me. Um, I suppose when you're coming into like this from um, prior background knowledge of the Final Fantasy series, um, it's quite difficult to um, like, oversee that. Deathwish, 33-month resub, my man. How's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice to see that you made it up for tonight. You made it up today. You're not just uh, in bed, catching up on that sleep. I think that's like the hint there, look. He just woke up. Nice. I think that's the hint there for the fire thing. Like it says you can go to one to two to three. It's a bit like a map and there is like a, a fire that you can get to as well. So yeah. All right. Anyway, time for us to um, continue on. On with the quest. Green cursor shows your current position. Set your next destination with the cursor. Observe the battle level when selecting destinations. More star means stronger heartless in that world. Okay. So we can either go to there. Two star battle world or one star. Well, let's go to the... Let's go to the normal... Um, well, we've got a gummy garage here. What's the gummy garage? Let's build a gummy ship by following a blueprint. To build a gummy ship, select garage. Buy different ships or rename ships, select gummy ship. And let's take a tour of the garage. Let's pick a blueprint from the list. The list contains blueprints you've collected and all those you can redesign. Blueprints you collect can be can't be renamed. Make sure you have enough parts. Select the blueprint to enter the garage. In select mode, select the block you want to attach. Without a cockpit and an engine, the ship cannot fly. Makes sense. Left or right direction buttons change classes, up and down directions change the parts. Manage block, then press X or R1 to go to build mode. In build mode, select where to place the block. Move the block with L1 and L2 and direction buttons. I think I need this tutorial again because this is uh, confusing. Left stick rotates blocks, right stick rotates the assembly area. Press X to attach the block. You may not be able to attach big blocks at times. Press the circle to cancel the attachment. 
You get last press touch pad to view the help. Well, it's nice to know that there is that. Let's switch to inspect mode with the R2 button. Examine your creation in inspect mode. Show various stats as you build your ship. That's about it. The rest is learning by doing. If you need help, go to the help menu or press the touchpad button. All right. Thanks, my dude. All right, so... These are pretty much exactly the same. I've already forgotten what I was meant to be doing. Ah! Okay, I think it's just... Yeah, I don't think I can really do too much at the minute. Um, okay, so that's just changing the blocks and different bits and pieces. All right, so we've got cannons. We can put a cannon on. I, I don't know what putting a cannon on does, but... Sure. I think I'll leave this for now. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take the easy way out and... Uh, We'll just, um... Nah. We'll not save it. Alright, so let's then uh, traverse then to... Over here. Let's see where we end up. Oh, hello. We travelled to different worlds on the gummy ship. Atlas shifts often give us a hard time. Always be on the lookout during flight. Your journey will be this documented until you reach your destination. Seek out the missions each world has to offer. All right. Control the gummy ship with the left stick. Tilt it down, up to descend and down to ascend. The blue gauge shows the power level. Firing lasers, among other things, consumes power. The green gauge shows the strength of the armor. If it reaches zero, it's back to de departing point. Yo, Pyrrhus, what's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. I mean, are these like collectibles or? I guess not. That's damaging my armor. I just gotta fly through here then and just survive then I guess doesn't look like I have any like rockets or anything oh I do I can't shoot them. I just took dam. Oh, wow. What, what, what did I take damage from? Well, at least we know how to shoot shoot our uh, cannons now. That's something, right? Got a huge project going on. Maybe you chose it because you uh, feel like you want to push yourself, as always, uh, Nefarious. Not a bad thing, you know, pushing yourself. I'm sure it'll be, uh, you'll find it very re rewarding when it comes to the end, right? Okay, so this looks like how you get like your power and stuff. Um, or the actual items to build the, the gummy ships in the future. It's interesting.
much bigger, bigger project than normal. Oh, yikes. I hit the ground again? I take it when you say a bigger project, Ferris, you mean like the actual content that you've got to produce is like more, or you mean like the, the actual research you need to um, do is different? Or yeah, the aiming is quite it's it's quite rigid, if I'm honest. It's not very fr free. Every time you let go, it kind of like recenters Deathwish. So yeah, it's um. Is quite clunky. I'm like, not sure how I took damage there. New high score. We got found the Well, that's a Wonderland. Okay. Let's see what Wonderland has. Really could write a proper article on the topic. Leave it easily write a 20 to 35 page article. I, how, okay, so you, that's what you feel like you could write. Um, are you restricted to the amount that you can write on this? Or let's go. So let me know how the game audio is, please. Thanks, Deathwish. I had a bit of an issue with it the weekend. I was trying to sort a lot of stuff out. So, oh, like, so you feel like you've got like almost condensed it to like half as much as you could write. Okay, I can kind of see uh, why potentially you may be seeing it as a bit of an issue, Papyrus. I have faith, though. Faith that you will um, be able to sort it out. You're an intelligent guy. Alright, so clearly this is um, the Alice in Wonderland world. How will he get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. Must you be so loud? You woke me up. Good morning. Good night. I need a bit more sleep. Wait, Ooh. what do we have to do to grow small? Why don't you try the bottle? Over there. It's more like the Matrix, like blue pill or the red pill. Don't put yourself down, uh, Ferris. You, I, 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 like I always say, you, you are a really intelligent guy. Oh. Oh, 
I'm Donald and Goofy. I'm sure fire is probably effective against these guys. They look almost like they're um, potentially fire elemented, so. Hey, I don't want no talk about anybody being dumb. All intelligent guys, I like to believe. If anyone's not intelligent, it's probably me because I uh, can't aim properly in these guys. <laughs> Did a um, something quite interesting though today. I did a um, the Microsoft training day today for uh, introduction to sort of our artificial intelligence on Azure, which was um, quite interesting for sure. Where's that guy gone? He's still up there. No, he's gone. I think Donald or Goofy must have taken him out for me. Okay, there's a Trinium out there, but we don't have access to the green ones yet. Right, in that case, let us continue. <laughs> Seriously, though, you would task Death Wish was like writing a novel and you would still be sat, sat there three days later waiting for him to finish rambling before to get started. Love you, buddy. <laughs> Court is now in session. I'm on trial, but why? Yeah. Your Majesty, <laughs> Queen of Hearts, presiding. This girl is the culprit. There's no doubt about it. And the is it annoying that I'm like blocking the subtitles. Um. They all do. Let me set up a new scene uh, a new control here of obs two seconds And what I can do is I do like that. Reason is because I say so, that's why. That is so unfair. Well, have you anything to say in your defense? Of course. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. You may be queen, but I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to be so so mean. Silence! Do you dare defy me? Hey guys, we should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's against the rules. The court finds the defendant guilty as charged for the crimes of assault and attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head! No, no! Oh, please! Hold it right there! Who are you? How dare you interfere with my court? Excuse me, but we know who the real culprit is. Uh huh. It's the heart. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh... Yo, Napaz, what's going on? Welcome, buddy. Hope you're well. Have you had a good birthday? I think I saw it was your birthday over the weekend, so. Uh, happy belated birthday. 
Okay. So we've got to find evidence that Alice is not guilty. I did see someone suspicious. You! Rude. Yeah, so far. I think it only took me like an hour to replay what I the three hours that I'd previously played on the PS2, so yeah, I didn't have to replay too much, thankfully. But so uh, yeah, really looking forward to getting into a bit more of this. Who are you? Who indeed? Poor Alice, soon to lose her head, and she's not guilty of a thing. Hey, if you know who the culprit is, tell us. The Cheshire Cat has all the answers, but doesn't always tell. The answer, the culprit, the cat, all lie in darkness. Wait! We've already left the forest. I won't tell which exit. There are four pieces of evidence in all. Three are a cinch to find. The fourth is tricky. A big reward if you find them all. Should we trust him? To trust or not to trust? I'll trust you all decide. Riddles, riddles, and more riddles. And plenty of Heartless to try and stop us along the way, clearly. Maybe we need to magic that, possibly. Um, well, did, did, well, I suppose they do help. I said, did Donald and Goofy actually do too much? Right, there's a chest up there. That's interesting. Give me a potion and I'll make you bigger. Okay, well, that might help us to get that chest, I guess. Yeah. Um, give me an ether. Okay. Um, like I sort of said, I think at that time, Napaz, you know, just sort of been, everything going on. But, uh, yeah. Weirdly, though, it's like I get back to streaming, but I'm going on vacation on Saturday, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, not didn't really think that one through properly. Get back to streaming right where I'm going to have a break and, um, stuff, but, um, nah, it's, um, it's good to get back to streaming. Uh, okay, how do I... A flower. That's it. And to be fair, I've, I've got to take I've got to take every opportunity that I can to actually get on the PlayStation because my son just is constantly on it most the majority of it. So. Ooh. Um, he, he's playing a lot of, um, Dead by Daylight seems to be his game at the minute, which is, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a particular fan of that. Got any ethers? I have not. Okay. Uh, he's 13. I just, I don't know, I, I tried, I, I tried it once, um, let me just attack this, there we go. Yeah, I tried it once and it was just a bit like, eh, not really for me. I, oh, I think I just wasted my fires. I 
Good to you, man. Oh, oh. oh. No. Can, I, can I stop targeting the flower? Thank you. <laughs> I, I tried some matches years ago, but I don't know, it just all seems a bit... I, I found it a bit repetitive. Um, plus, to be fair, I don't really tend to play a lot of um, games with other people. Kind of more of a solo player. Unless um, Deathwish is around and he's firing rockets at me in Portal, in which case then that's entertainment all night. An antenna. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I can make it up to that side, I wonder. I'll make it up there, clearly. If I can park all my way over here. Speaking of my son. Call his name and he shall appear. It's almost like he knew he was talking about him. <laughs> No, I've never, I've, literally all I've seen is like the few bits of, um, um, the few bits possibly that Death's done in like trophy quests and things. Um, but that's literally all I've seen. I'm completely blind to Kingdom Hearts. I know nothing of it. Which is kind of like, for a game that's so old as well, um, I guess it's it's kind of rare. But hey, when you, you're like me and you live under a rock, um, it's not really that difficult, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's the boy. I'm trying to um, broaden his horizons a little bit. He's, he's started playing bit of Kingdom Hearts, which is... Uh, and also playing a bit of the Final Fantasy VII re Remake, so, uh, you yeah, know, trying to get him into a bit of extra stuff. Stench. This game might take a while. I, well, I think what I'm, I'd probably plan on doing, if I'm honest, is I'll probably, I'll probably play the stories um, for each game. But I think I probably will try to platinum the games, but it probably won't be a stream thing because I think the the whole playing all the games will probably take up enough stream time as it is. And. Um, Given that I'm possibly only going to be playing it like once a week, then yeah, it's um... <laughs> is that 200 hours without the platinum Napaz or oh, me mark. Yeah. Platinum on top of that is just going to be crazy. Okay, so we found three of the... Okay, so I just realized the... Three of them are the... Um, let's find them. Oh, I've got an ether now. That's interesting. can't see key on but yeah i guess the the so i found three of the four so i just kind of need to find the other one i'm guessing there's going to be something on that other side over there 
know if I can... Let's go around. I mean, where's... Uh, There's this other plant here, though, isn't it? That's for the ether. This one wants... This one wants a potion. Did you give me a high potion in return? Okay. Um, squall's in eight, Evan. Yeah, I had this conversation with him the other day after I'd, uh, uh, I did have that conversation with him after I uh, mentioned it in your stream, um, Napaz. Just thankful that you've got the journal um, and the characters were listed in there, or else I would have probably still been really miffed as to who was Liam. I found it like really, it was really weird because when you kind of um, face um, Squall in the like town center, I'm sure Yuffie kind of like calls him a Squall and then calls him as Leon, and I was like, I honestly thought like maybe Leon was like a code name for like the Keyblade or something. So I'm just glad that um, I'm all uh, my knowledge is ironed out now at least. So can I? I wonder if I can. See another Trinity mark somewhere. Oh, wait a second. Is that a. Oh, I think we've got in there. Interesting. Are you, um. Are you playing the demo of 16 Napads or are you holding off for the, uh. Full release. Oh, can I get in there? Okay, so how do we get in there then? Fair enough. I don't think I've got another ether. That's the problem here. I think I can give... Hold on, what's... Um... Oh, there's a stop. There's everything. Do need to read more, yeah. You should um you should check out Napaz though, uh Evan, if you want to read more, because um Napaz actually reviews games and writes articles, so that's what your English teacher was uh referring to the other week. Uh the other, yeah, last week when we saw her. About like reading her out about reviews and stuff, so check out Napaz's reviews. the room this side okay ah want to be over there ah uh, my jump button didn't work fantastic all right well at least we know where the last of the uh the last of the bits are
you had thought as well like from the gaming generations that um people would like see the word lose quite often like in the in the context of you lose well clearly just everybody is a lot more goated at um, video games than i was when i was a kid there we go Found. Well, look what you found. Nice going. Now we can save Alice. Don't be so sure. You may be innocent, but what about you? What do you mean? I won't tell, but I'll give you something. Obtain the power of ice. Thank you very much. We got Blizzard. Oh yeah. I mean. It's, um, I think, it's scary, like, how much... Does that automatically get equipped? Okay, no, that's cool. It's, it's scary, like, how much, like, kids learn from YouTube. But I completely agree that, um, Napaz, that, um, games are too reliant on hand-holding these days. And I think it's almost um, it's almost developed a culture of kids who can't think for themselves almost when they're playing games and have um, short views and not the patience to try different things. It's like if it doesn't work first time, I'm gonna throw my toys out of the pram and look for a tutorial sort of thing. Uh, anyway. There's a new Rayman. Where you sit, Her Majesty, the Noble Queen of Hearts. Yo, crazy. Going crazy, how you doing? Yeah. Okay, so how do I... Are you ready to present evidence to the Queen? Yes. Crowell, Council, step up to the podium. Now, show me what you have found. Well, that's certainly a lot of evidence, but I'm still not impressed. Cards, bring forth my evidence. Checking all five would only be a waste of time. All right, then choose one. Choose the one you wish to present. I'll decide who's guilty based on that evidence. What? After all the trouble of collecting it? You dare object. Then you will lose your head. Now choose one box. Sorry, now choose one box. Uh, the middle solves the riddle. Catchphrase, right? Now we shall see who the real culprit is. But it's me, isn't it? Oh no. Heartless. What in the world was that? I think I got the right one. <laughs> There's your evidence. Alice is innocent. Arr. Silence! I'm the law here. Article 29. Anyone who defies the Queen is guilty! That's crazy! Can't do a dog voice. <laughs> Seize them at once. Cards, if they touch the tower, you'll lose your head. here. Fire. 
Oh, okay, I don't think they're. I don't think. Okay, so they don't. I don't think they get killed per se. They just kind of like get stunned. Okay, that makes sense. God mode nice around. What the money? Don't lose all the money. But Alice isn't even in there, is she? No, of course she's not too easy she must have gotten kidnapped while we were fighting you fools find the one who's behind this i don't care how yeah we solved the first our riddles um crazy um all right so that defendant there's no trial i know let's bring her here Green has spoken. Find Alice at once. Yeah, Napaz likes Final Fantasy Evan. Just looked away for a moment and be gone. Oh, why did you hit me so hard? Did that girl disappear too? Interesting question. you seen Alice? Alice, no. Shadows, yes. Where did they go? This way, that way, does it matter? Uh, Napa's actually doing um, a challenge run, I think, at the minute on Final Fantasy. He's just finished up a magic-only challenge on the original. I think he's doing a... Is it a crystals challenge you're doing now, Napa's? I think. I think. Left, right, up, down, all mixed up, thanks to the shadows. Step deeper into the forest to the deserted garden. You might find shadows in the upside down room. I'm thinking, can we. Okay, I don't think we can push. I thought we might be able to push. Oh my goodness me, what? That's a big guy. A guy. Only big. Yeah, I thought I got yeeted. And I just yeeted, um, Goofy. Okay, he's in, got some iframes at the minute. Guys, you, you, you can't hit him. Oh, it's for FF8 mod. Oh, I thought it was Final Fantasy VII name, because I must have um, obviously misread the stream title the other day. He was playing at the weekend, so uh, it's pretty cool. I've seen any like FF8 mods. I've only ever seen Final, Final Fantasy 7 mods. My mistake. That dude wanted an ether, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. Surely if these are fire-based, then they're not. Thought so.
Give them uh, fire based. Obviously, ice is going to work the best against them. Tell us your gameplay trailer. Yeah, I did see the sigils in the trailer actually, Papyrus, yeah. I wonder if the purpose of those in Tell us two, according to Elohim sigils, were not mere toys, but they were things that led to protagonists nearer to the everlasting life. Yeah, I also saw, I think that a lot of people were saying about the um, like the anti-gravity thing as well. I think the, the um, um, I'm sure the trailer kind of like answered that question about um, the actual player was the one that was going. Because I think people were saying before that they thought the anti gravity thing could have been like a double doppelganger gang. Oh, oh, I speak a doppelganger kind of situation where you would kind of like transfer your mind to the upside down person or the person that's the anti grav. Um, so yeah, that was cool to see that if the player you're actually going to go upside down or be able to climb up walls to solve potential puzzles. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm trying not to look at too much of it. Um, kind of just saw a brief clip of the gameplay trailer on Twitter, I think it was. If you want to play the original Final Fantasy VII, Evan, it's, it's in my Steam library. So is Final Fantasy VIII, so... Okay, we need some... I think we need to move that tree, so... Have we got any? It's not got any ether, so. Wasn't there a rock somewhere? It was Dwayne High. Oh, this is probably the rock from earlier. Actually, let's move there. Uh, to be fair, I've, I don't actually think I've ever finished 8. Um, when I played it originally as a kid, I got stuck on disc 4 and I, th I think my characters were like way under leveled and I never actually went back to it, unfortunately. Um, but I think the story is the story's pretty good from what I remember, playing up to that point. Ah, there we go. That's what I need to do. Yeah, so Squall is the main Squall is the main character of uh, Final Fantasy Seven, Evan. Uh, Final Fantasy Eight, sorry, not Seven. Cloud's the main character, Seven. That's wrong way. Is it the wrong way? Um, yeah. I haven't really the tea party guard yet, though, so we'll uh, go over there in a minute. Uh, they don't all have mm, uh, big swords, to be fair. Um, I can't tell you much about like the old um, Final Fantasy, if I'm honest. But I know that. Does um, Zidane have a... Oh, no puzzle, no. Um, does Zidane have a sword in 9? No, um, Zidane's a thief. But um, may have some... Is it daggers, I think? Dual daggers. Or a two-sided blade, okay. Not technically a sword. Um, obviously, Tidus has a sword in 10. 11's uh, an MMO. Um, 12. 
I don't think who the main character is in 12. It's, um, yeah, Pinello's friend, isn't it? What's his name? And then 13. I didn't play too much. A fire potion? It's fun.